What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video we are going to be doing a squad where every single player is a reward card. This squad is actually fairly good to be honest because we have picked up a lot of reward cards throughout the year. But anyway, if we can hit 400 likes in this video, that would be insane. And if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy this content, I upload my team pretty much every single day. And we are trying to get to 30,000 subscribers by NBA 2K17. So let's see if we can do that. Anyway, now let's get on to the squad. At the point guard, we have got Pink Diamond Russell Westbrook. The best point guard in my team. Well, arguably the best point guard in my team. At the two, we have got Sidney Moncrief who really does not live up to his stats, because even though he's a great on-ball defender with, I think it's 98, he's still rating 67, which means he's not the best. We've got David Thompson at the three. Yes, he's only six foot four, but he seems to do okay playing small forward. At the four, you've got Zach Randolph, who, I don't know, I have a love-hate relationship with this card. Like, he averages 5.6 points per game for me, but through his first, like, five games, was averaging, like, 25. I don't really know what my opinion is on that card. At the 5, we've got Patrick Ewing, who's averaging 11 point, points per game and shooting 70% of the field. And not a good 3-point shooter, but is definitely the second best pink diamond after um, Russell Westbrook. Off the bench, we've got Kyrie Irving's 95 overall card at the 1. We've got Jeremy Lin, who's still one of the best point guards in my team. Like, well, not obviously when you're playing God squads. But if you come up against Jeremy Lin, he could drop 20 on any given opponent. Like, averaging 16 points per game for me. He could still, in the pink diamond league and above... Drop 20 game. And when he came out, which was one of the best point guards in the game. At the three, we've got Jerry Stackhouse. I like him with his duo. I don't like him without his duo, but he's there to fill in the squad. The four, we've got Antoine Walker. Because of his player model being like Shaq build, he's a good defender for some reason. Even though his stats aren't great, his model, player model is so big that he defends well. We've got James Edwards at the five, who's actually a really good offensive player. He's got post 92, post fadeaway of 98. And early in the game, he was like unstoppable. Last three off the bench, we've got Dennis Rodman. We have got Derek Coleman, who's actually a good stretch four, who's got a 85 shot three. And we've also got Michael Ray Richardson, who's a great defender. So anyway, now let's get into the game. I don't understand why teams are allowed to have white away kits. Like that looks like it's an actual like Euro League away kit. Why can teams play with white kits? Yeah, stop getting to the basket. Oh my God, I didn't even see that. Like I assumed that I thought it was my player under the basket. I'm sorry for everyone watching about the kit situation. It's 2K's fault, honestly, for letting teams use white away kits. Okay, it's open. Wait, wait, three. And Westbrook nails that one. Damn, it's a two. Sorry, I didn't realize how Westbrook's fadeaway three was better than a standing three because of those badges. And he goes and nails three of Patrick Beverly. Wait, am I? Their kit's not white, is it? Like, I'm hopelessly colorblind. Is that kit white or isn't that kit white? I genuinely don't know. Fade away, green light. Russell Westbrook's fade away three is probably the most overpowered shot in my team. Like he's honestly, from using him, is up there with the best shooters in the game. Stand up Robert Ory's way so he can't get back to defend. Midi, green light from Anton Walker. We green pretty much every shot we take in this game. Like, I don't understand why he's just jacking it with Patty Mills. Like I know Patty Mills can shoot, but like really, just jacking it with him? Let's go, Kyrie. And that's a rage quit, I'd say. That's definitely a rage quit. Okay, game number two. A super cheesy Ruby team, but we do have a way, way better squad. Like, that is a beast budget squad, to be fair. Any sort of separation, and then it's a fadeaway three. Always. Any sort of separation, pull up from there. And Russ hits the three. Like, that is the most overpowered shot in my team. Anyone saying any other player's shot is as overpowered as that. Like... It's incredible. He's has such a nice animation on the fadeaway. Even though it is a longer release, it's just so easy to green, like. This guy's off ball as well, so. Go, and it's a full white bar, and he nails that one again. Like, that's six points for Russell Westbrook. That is the most overpowered shot in my team. So he's playing LeBron a point guard. That might have worked day one, but, like, now using Sapphire LeBron at the point... Oh, let's go right to the basket, Dave Thompson. I forgot that James Jones, the defensive goat, though. That's just no defense on Westbrook in the corner. Green light. Wide open. On the line. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're down right now. And we are playing absolutely shocking. But anyway, we got a little bit of time. Or we got a lot of time. All right. 
Steal it. Okay, good defense. Yeah, at least we can push the floor, Walker. Stackhouse, come on. It's on the line. Stackhouse is one of the worst shooters I've used in my team. If you guys were my fans back when I had like 1k subs at the start of the year, like, I genuinely hated Stackhouse. I don't know why I didn't just put in Bob Dandridge into this team. No way. Damn. We're now down five. Great. Is to use his uh, player he's on balling with in the pick and rolls. Come on, Kyrie. No, we left him open. What type of defense is that? Oh my god, we're down eight. To be fair, this guy's making the most of every opportunity, like shooting 72%. I can't say anything about that, like he's doing really well. He's played really, really well. Got him up. And one, James Edwards. Let's go. Oh man, I'm just, I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking this. He's just off all on, on Edwards. And one again. Another and one. Yes, that's another and one for James Edwards. Backcourt, backcourt. Oh, sure he is backcourt. Give him that. Don't leave him open. Why didn't we just leave Capella open? Why didn't we just leave Capella open? He can't shoot the ball. Damn, we're down six at the end of the third. No way. Come on. We're now down more than we ever were. That's, that's Sapphire LeBron. Let's leave him. Stand. Okay, I was about to go mad because we just keep hacking. His very, very average center, Joel McGee. Green light, let's go. No, get to him, get to him, get to him, no! Oh my god, like this is like, you know the videos where I've said that if you pick up the perfect like Ruby team, building it like this team, basically the team he used in this game, I said, you you have a chance to win every game. Because you do. Like, I wouldn't, obviously I would take the team I have right now over his team. But if you're a good player, and you use cheese ruby cards you have a shot of winning every game no matter who you're playing against so this game my team really is not pay to win every, like everyone says it's pay to play it's not like you can easily beat anyone with a budget squad if you're good enough so three okay thank god we got that board all right what way are they gonna try to defend me by leaving me open pull up and westbrook nails the three. Oh, what are you doing why? Why? I controlled you, and you still move towards the sideline. I'm just trying to push you into the middle. That is just a dumb game mechanic. Like, why is the why do players go to the sideline in 2K? Like, that doesn't make any sense. What was that? I know it went in, but what was that? That was a double tap square. It's supposed to be a fake. Oh no, Kyrie! You just stood there and let the ball go by you. Okay, we got it. No, it's a charge as well. Oh my god. To be fair, this guy is really good. I'm going to give him that. He's really good. I think I'll still be able to pull away, but he's really good at this game. Like, he's good. Straight up, this guy's good. So it's gonna we're gonna need a big second half and a really good second half to beat him. Let's go, Kyrie. Let's go, Kyrie Irving. Pick and pop. Pull up Kyrie. A little bit short. Like, catch the ball, <laughs> Walker. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Come on, get there. You're there in time. You're, you're there way in time. We're there in time. That's good as well. He's hit every shot he's taken. He's fair play to him. He scored 50 points and a half. He's hit every shot he's taken. I take my hat off to him. He was much, much better in that first half. What are you doing? What are you doing, Randolph? Okay, easy three points for Westbrook. Green light. Westbrook is dominating, but we're still getting destroyed. Yes, Ewing. Get the board. Somebody catch the ball, please. That's just my players just not playing basketball, being fully functioning human beings. Fade away three, put it up. Let's go, Westbrook. Like, Westbrook is 20 points, and he hasn't missed. And we're still down 11 points. One more. Hall of Fame Dimer. Oh my god. That, how do you get a full white bar with Hall of Fame Dimer? I didn't actually think that was possible. I, just, I thought that would make it a green. Okay. He, like, he's hacking on fast breaks. He's doing... 
He's making smart plays. I gotta give it up to him. He's making really smart. What? I don't want L2. Why? Why did you pass it to Westbrook? I didn't go anywhere near X. Like this is a, the big. This is the most even blown out in about four months. Like honestly, it's been about four months since I got blown out this badly. And like how that 98 post fadeaway. How that shot doesn't go in. Wow. Okay. I thought that had gone in. Like he's just hacking on every fast break. This is a really annoying, but it's really, really smart game play. I want to complain. Like I honestly, I honestly want to draw my controller. But what he's doing is so, so smart that I gotta give it up to him. Like fair play. He's honestly playing this game perfectly. Throw it up and just attempt to maybe get the alley oop. Ah, oh, but we lost that and he was way better than me in that game. So let's look at the box score. His team was very well rounded. We had 28 with Westbrook, who I'd say missed four of his last five shots. So Westbrook pretty much carried our team anyway. It was basically our only half decent player. Antoine Walker was okay, I guess, but the team was absolutely terrible in this game and he just really, really outplayed me. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.